Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the ICM 308. And what this is, this is a sort of freeze stat, is how I'm using it, or low temperature cutoff. Uh, when you open it up, it'll come in a little box like so. You'll have the board, the mister, and the instructions. And there's three different versions of this there's the 308, 309, and 310. I use the 308, it cuts out at 43 degrees and cuts back in at 45. The ICM 309 cuts out at 28 and cuts back in at 55. And that's a little bit too warm to be cutting back in, especially if you're talking about using it for a heat pump, which if it cycles off accident in the winter time, may never come back on. Uh, ICM 310 cuts out at 44, cuts back in at 48. I wanted something that was cold and between the choice of 43 and 44, I choose 43. The reason why you say that's above freezing. But once I mount the thing to the exit of the evaporator, or even at the condenser, if I wanted to, the super heat should bring the temperature beyond 43. If it's not 43 degrees, chances are it's indicating there's an issue with airflow or the filter being clogged which indirectly is airflow, or some other problem, some other restriction uh, in the airflow, you name it. So even though it's 43 is above freezing, it actually will sense when there's a problem. And even indirectly, even though it's setting off a freeze stat, it may signal some other difficulty in the system before it uh, damages the compressor or something along those lines. And the ones I have in operation have worked very well so far. So t let's take a look at how it's wired up. And I'll tell you about where you mount the sensor. Here's our relay up close. You see at the top you have two connections. Basically those two connections are for your thermistor. You'll see there's two wiring connections there. There's a little bulb at the other end. You'll plug your two wiring connections into the top there. And this is my little drawing here of the A coil, but you have your evaporator coil, whether it be a separate coil or an air handler. You have your liquid line coming in and your suction line coming out. You can mount it inside with the coil on the suction line or on the outside. Of course, you'll put it underneath the insulation so it has a correct representation of the temperature leaving the evaporator coil. And that's pretty standard stuff. You just plug that right in. It doesn't matter which side plugs in where. It's a... Uh, it doesn't matter. Secondly, you'll see what I use is my Y signal. You have the first space here is your Y signal coming in. So exiting the air handler, heading toward the condenser, you wire your typically yellow wire there. Also, you have your common coming in, and they're both commons in the center, as you see. Your common wire coming in here, very top, and you have another common on the bottom, heading out to the contactor, and this will be your Y wire, Y signal heading to the contactor, as you can see here. And basically what happens when this sensor realizes that it is 43 degrees or less, it will cut that Y signal heading out to the contactor to shut off the compressor. And that just... It, it saves the compressor because uh, you don't want liquid making it back to the compressor, the compressor slugging, all sorts of issues. And if you have a cold start, let's say you left the temperature, you left the heat pump off in your house. And you turn it on and it's 30 some degrees in the house. Of course, this thing's not going to come on. The blower will start to circulate air and then your heat strips will warm the house for a certain period of time before the temperature rises enough for this to come on, which is good. That means your compressor won't start in a situation where it can be easily damaged. And it'll sort of protect your compressor. And that's sort of the idea here. Protecting the compressor, keeping the evaporator from freezing up, potentially damaging the evaporator motor, uh, flooding something, all sorts of stuff. So that's sort of the purpose of the relay. And that's why I use it 
and that is the ICM 308.